Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I just want to give you a quick demonstration on hyperlinking buttons in Dreamweaver. Let's just jump right into Dreamweaver. And wherever you have a hyperlink in your page, we'll use the menu top as an example here. You're going to see it highlighted in the blue text and whatnot. And to change that link, just simply you know select the text with your mouse, go down to the properties panel. If you don't have the properties panel open, just go to your window menu and you'll see the properties right here, control F3, just enable that so you can turn it on. And then you can use the point to file tool to go and locate a page to link to, just like so. You just sort of drag and drop it or expand a folder if you need to link to something in a subfolder like that. Or you can actually cl click the browse to file tool and you can browse through your website just like you would any old file and uh, select hit OK and that changes the link as well. And finally, you can also manually type a link in here so you could do a, you know, www or sorry http that would link as an absolute link or what we're going to refer to as an absolute url in other words it's the entire link uh, in the um, link field and if you really wanted to you could actually open that link in a new window so if you're linking to an external website and you want to keep your website in the background so when your visitor is finished looking at whatever information on the external website uh, they're at and you can actually change the target just by selecting the target tag and applying a blank and then when somebody clicks on the link to go to the i3d themes website when they're done with i3d themes and they close their browser down your website will still be there in the background